a big step in the right direction. What is it? Well, let's find out. How are you doing, everybody? And welcome back to the entire LUNC community. How are we feeling, everybody? A brand new week with brand new burns. Last week, bunch of millions in burns, LUNC. What about this week so far? This close of getting to two billion. It's gonna happen hopefully by the end of this week. But what I'm showing you right now on the screen is something that it was submitted seven days ago and just recently, right? We just discovered that it passed and i'm sure that the entire terror rebels will not it's token and you if you're watching from the terra luna classic are really happy and i'm going to tell you exactly what it is it's not that easy to find out but of course here's the page plus more good news when it comes to burning i mean who doesn't like that and to end i'm going to tell you something funny that i found on coin market cap if you go to terra luna classic it's just my opinion i think you'll find it hilarious so go ahead and smash the like button guys consider subscribing to the channel and turn on those notification bells here you just give you updates when it comes to terra luna classic because I own some, more than 100,000 of them. I know that might be little or too much. Really, it's up to you how much you want to get into this. But hey, if we go back to 303, I'll be extremely excited. I know the price hasn't been on our side for a long time. I also want to take a look at the price and give you my opinions. Deal? So let's go ahead and get started. First and foremost, the proposal. This was the distribution of code 3568, which that is the 1.2 tax burn that we talked about for a long time, and 4095, which is the re-enable delegation and staking. Anything when it comes to staking is really attractive because finally, you will be able to earn some LUNC while you stake. And that is really good. That is the definition of staking, right? Having some consensus and something protected in the treasury, in the liquidity, in, in the pool. So you're getting something from that. So based on this, seven days ago, like I mentioned, was started. And right now, at the time of this picture, it was passed. So I'm sure that a lot of people are excited. Now, it's pretty much saying that it's going to improve security, max 20% stake validator to prevent any attacks. So that's, you know, as far as how much you can get if you want to become a validator. So it's a small step for man, a giant leap for Luna Classic. And this user on his personal info has the one day UST repack, right? The Terra Luna repack UST. And I understand that's something that's going to help millions of people if that ever happens. If it does, great. If it doesn't, I mean, that is exactly why some people say that Terra Luna, it's in, it just crashed and it may never come back. We'll just see. The power of the community is strong with projects like this that are coming back. And that kind of piggybacks to what I was going to tell you. That's funny. I'll tell you by the end. It's going to be cool. When it comes to Lunatics, guys, well, you know, last week they had 150 million, 250 million. Honestly, they're burning $20,000, $10,000 plus just to get that Terra Luna Classic back to a higher price. And that's cool. I mean, Way, way more money that I have invested on L LUNC, but I can tell that a lot of people are really buying into this. You go ahead and take a look at take a look at the Terra Luna Classic Discord page. You're gonna see the updates, and that brings me to this page, which this is exactly what they have on their Discord. I'm happy that they opened a Twitter account, and here it is. The last post on announcements was July 26th, and this is exactly what we have, which is the um, delighted to announce the software release. It is now live, delivering commitments to LUNC containing our white paper. Uh, if you are not aware, they have a white paper, which, you know, the roadmap for LUNC. And I got to tell you, the fact that these people are working on this, it's awesome. Just the fact that Terra Luna 2.0 is really not giving anything when it comes to LDNC. They're just putting it away and not focusing on it. Of course, they may have some drops, airdrops to the people affected, which that's what they've been doing with some of the most recent air uh, proposals that they have done. But other than that, that's it. It's LUNC is just given to the community. And that's what Terra Rebels, and you are watching this video because you want to know what in the world is happening. So Terra Rebels adopted it, and then there's more people helping it, like Lunatics and, of course, Coin N. That I want to tell you six hours ago, they're closely be reaching 10 million LUNC burn. Not bad. Applause to that. That's really good. 10 million. 
it's nothing when it comes to LUNC. Uh, let me go ahead and open the burner right in front of you, and we have 1.9 billion burn. This number, I remember seeing it less than 1 billion. Now we're approaching 2 billion, which if you can read this number for me, 0 0.027. So absolutely nothing when it comes to the total amount. And I know some people, when they go to coin market cap, they tell me, but that circular energy supply is not moving. I know. I know because 0.02%, it's not going to do much, right? And I know the entire community is trying to deliver this and eventually with more 1.2% in different exchanges that will help and other different crypto projects like Lunatics will help. So like I always say in my LUNC videos, have to be patient. There's a chance that this project might collapse and never come back. Yes, I am of that idea too. But there's also a chance that if the Terra Luna community does not give up and continue working on this uh, with a lot of determination, uh, they can do something that Duquan and TFL have not seen before. So we can always have, when it comes to crypto, this idea of we need to have a at least some percentage to be, uh, you know, bearish when it comes to a project like this and say, hey, this may just don't ever come back up, although you work very hard. That could, that could be one chance. I'm not saying that will happen, but I mean, that's what you buy, what you can afford losing, and there's always a risk. But uh, I like to see, you know, different exchanges, small exchanges, projects, and the community working really vividly on this, like Terra Rebel. So I wanted to make sure you knew that because we need to give it the, the open room that it deserves, right? Just to give you an idea. At this time, everybody, 34 in fear so uh, the prices are going up and even though everything that's happening in the world that is not stopping bitcoin to you know reach higher levels now before we get to the price i wanted to show you that, that this that i found hilarious when you come to terra classic and you click here well, i mean this is the link right but this link gives you terra luna 2.0 and where they don't even you know are promoting or are trying to help Terra Luna Classic. So I will consider, and here's of course the Twitter from Terra 2.0, I will consider removing this Terra.money from the website CoinMarketCap if you're listening and put it as Terra Rebels because they're the ones who are actually uh, working on it. If Terra Rebels creates a website, then that will be the official website for Terra Classic. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. That's just an idea, right? Very close to 2 billion, guys. Very close to 2 billion. Now, this is what the price of LUNC looks. Uh, the blue are pumps, the red are dumps, and the yellow are consolidation time. So right now, the price of LUNC, the hasn't done much ever since the end of June right here. And I'm tired of the trading view ads. <laughs> but um, June, so all July did pretty much crash and consolidated. Not much when it comes to the price. But there's a lot of movements, a lot of traction, a lot of progress, a lot of development for LUNC from the community, from the developers, and from other different projects helping it. That is exactly what happened. And that is the truth. So. Are you going to be buying more to sell later? It's up to you. Right now, I'm not buying any more. I just have what I have, a couple hundreds of dollars that are down, and I, I'm not seeing it um, go back to that break even in the in the near future, right? Because I know the burn are starting to kick off. The proposal are starting to fix, starting to get approved. So it's just about patient. It's going to happen. But if it happens, got to wait a little bit. Thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, straight to the point, And I wanted to give you my realistic expectations. Once again, congrats to Raruna Classic for the proposal pass. And we'll see how this turns out. I'll see you next time, everybody. Peace.